Good morning, wherever you are in this world. What's going on, team? Pedro here from Pedro FX. Um, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this YouTube channel, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I post daily videos on Forex and my journey uh, in trading. So if you're new at trading, join the family. Uh, we're all here to help each other out. Um, so today I did miss this trade, guys. It sucks. It's unfortunate. I, uh, I kind of slept in. I'm not really a morning person, but um, anyways, let's take a look at the charts and um, yeah, let's get started. So, but before I start this video, don't forget to hit that like button. I appreciate your support, guys. Thanks so much for, for joining me in my channel. Um, I, I did have a previous channel before, um, but uh, I have focused on trading. I've been trading for about a year and a half now. So by all means, I'm not a professional or anything like that. So just you know i just wanted to share with you guys my journey and uh yeah so let's get started anyways so uh today i saw an opportunity on gbp jpy uh as you can see i always 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 like to look at the bigger picture i always like to see uh the direction of the market so what do i do i always kind of like to look at the weekly or the daily it gives me a good idea of the direction of where the market is right now it gives me a good clear picture so as we can see, uh, you can see this upwards trend here, higher highs, higher lows. Um, and then we saw that price broke this trend line here and it pushed down to the to the downside, right? So we saw a strong, we saw a strong momentum to the downside here. And obviously we could see that this price has been very, uh, price has been oversold. Um, at this point, price is exhausted. It needs to pull back. Um, so we could see that even on our indicator here, uh, price is definitely oversold. Price needs to pull back, get some bit of uh, a buying. There needs to be more buying pressure. Um, so typically with this type of strong momentum, we always got to see some type of pullback. Where could it be? Possibly this zone here. Um, but let's take a closer look at the four hour. So uh, zooming into the four hour here, uh, we could see again strong momentum, some some type of pullback here in this zone, and then we saw price push down again, but it's been consolidating since last week. So we could see that price has been consolidating within this zone, and it's been rejected multiple times. Um, so within this consolidation, I saw an opportunity, and I said, "Hey, what's going on here? Price has come here multiple times, and it's been rejected. So it came here once, tested this zone." And then it got rejected came here twice rejected this zone came back down came third time here and it rejected this area of resistance again and it got rejected then price consolidated for a bit and then it pushed up last night so obviously we know that the targets would probably be within this area of resistance here so i looked into a 15 minute chart i woke up a little bit late and um so i wanted to show you guys this trade it was nuts so what, what did I see? Obviously, remember I showed you on the one hour that we were at the lower part of this consolidating uh, zone. So price was around this area at four o'clock in the morning, just right after London open. So what did I see? I saw a strong push to the upside. I saw that strong momentum to this zone area here. But not only that, I saw some type of pullback. Obviously, usually in this case, when I pull out my Fibonacci from the lows to the highs, you would typically see price kind of come back down and reach this zone of 0.50 or 0.618 uh, which would be a you know our gold zone here so um, obviously even with our Fibonacci we can see that price did retrace back to the 0.38 which means that price is it's got a strong momentum and it just didn't pull back all the way to the point which are our gold zone which is the 0.50 or 0.618 um, this is crazy guys so what happened Price was so the momentum was so strong it didn't even retrace back to the points uh, between our gold zone. It actually uh, pulled exactly to the point three uh, point three eight, and this right here is a, a very crucial. As you can see, it's a very uh, important zone that price has rejected um, multiple times, right? So it was it was a, a, an area of support and resistance right so it is a key level area where price has usually reacted right so we saw the strong momentum we saw the pullback to the 0.38 and also into this area of support so not only that on the daily you do see that price does need to come back up not only that we are at the lower end of this consolidating zone right so 
I said, you know what, this was this would have been a perfect time to get in at 6:45 in the morning here on Eastern uh, Eastern Standard Time. Oops, sorry, my mistake. So this would have been a perfect entry right here. We can see that price was uh, pulled back here in this area, this key level of support. And so um, obviously this wasn't here around this time. I woke up around eight, it was too late. But if I would have woke up around 6.30, I would have seen this pullback, would have probably gotten in here. And this would have been a nice quick scalp on the 15 minute guys. Where would have been our targets? Obviously this would be too tight of a target, but this would have been our first target here and then possibly over here, right? But um, obviously again, this area has been rejected multiple times and you can see that price did uh, reject this area once again. What does this mean? Uh, that is a strong rejection. Price can continue down uh, to the downside. We're also overbought here on our, um, on our indicator. So uh, anyways, that would be a different trade, total different uh, 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 topic here. So, uh, but focusing on this trade that we missed, we would have got in here at 6.30 a.m., got in here on a buy, and then put our TP right here, just right there at 35 pips, risking about, I would say, eight, 17 pips. So let's say you would have done a full lot, you would have made $350, and you would have risked $170 to make that 100, uh, 350. Uh, risk reward, you're looking at 2% two, uh, 2 risk reward ratio. Uh, which is which is okay. It's pretty good um, Again, this would have been just like a quick scalp trade, right? We saw the strong momentum. We saw the pullback. We saw the support We saw the rejection in the 0.38 and we saw that price could still continue up because obviously price has come here to this zone This higher zone area here and been rejected multiple times um, I hope this was uh, of, of great help guys. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask I'm here to help uh, comment it below if you guys have any questions um, or if you'd like me to post another video on any other um, a trade that you uh, pair that you want me to go over or anything like that. But again, like I said, guys, I'm not a professional. Uh, I'm just sharing with you guys my journey. Uh, thanks so much for joining the family, guys. Uh, you know, I appreciate the support that uh, I've gotten and everything. So, uh, yeah, guys, hope you're doing well. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you get notified every single time we post a video. With that being said, guys, we'll catch you until next time.